Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific a crackling atmosphere the match i think will be quite a spectacle this place simply a monument to the game so much prestige so much pride so much passion whenever football is played here So off we go then. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Looks to bypass the midfield. And it's got through. Middlesbrough have a free kick. Well, the ref's been lenient here. I doubt he'll get too many more chances. Gets up to head it! Good delivery, no joy. Well, plenty of moving targets to pick out in the box. Obviously increases the chances of the ball being met like that by someone. Bolassi. Ball. Who's going to get that? So who's he picking out? Cleared without complication. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Good run down the left. What can they make of it? Gets good distance on it. Out to the left it goes. It's come loose. In comes the, the great leap! Still well to get his head on that, but couldn't score. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Battles to win it back. Hoists it forward. Seems now to be all about width. Well, when you have the personnel to create in wide areas, then they need to see as much of the ball as possible. And that has been clubbed away. Did well to step in there. That was more than necessary. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. And it's played forward. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. (laughs) 
And he's going to... Crossbar comes to the rescue. Gets it back. And it's McNair. Now it's Bolassi. Bolassi with the cross. It's all a little short of forward momentum, lacking thrust. No goals as yet. Tries to get it forward quickly. Oh, shooting chance! was a given, it always was. Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off. So we have our breakthrough. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Over to the left. Beautifully done. A chance to play it in. Forward it goes. All the way back and they start again. into a dangerous position well positioned to make that interception quick ball forward and it's hoisted clear but there Akpom just off target Akpom certainly could have and should have made more of that Just brushed off the ball there. Shot a goal! And it's played forward. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And it's McNair. And he heaves it forward. And it's been taken straight back. Danger averted for now. Tries to get it forward quickly. Forward checking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. You have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing. But instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to uh, to dig in for his team here. There's the whistle for half time. And here we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal, which is very, very tight. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well, there's good movement off the ball, the passes are sticky. No one's afraid to have a go. Barnsley head into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Analysis to come during the break.
the start of the second half. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Forward it goes. But there, looking for goal! He's done very well to get to that. McNair really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. Off target and by quite a way. Place it out to the wing. Played into the middle. A Samba Longa with good energy in defence as well. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team really, your striker should be the first line of that defence and, and he's delivering. And that's sprayed out wide. Lovely bit of skill there. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. A somber longer, displaying his defensive capabilities there. That's no striker's tackle. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Lingered over it, and the chance to counter had gone. Well, the whole idea of a good breakaway is to leave the opposition struggling to get back, and they were just too slow. That's what has to be done now, no question about it. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Just has to be done. Uh, looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Hoists it forward. And it's played forward. Balassi goes looking. Has a pop! Oh, and things were shaping up very nicely there after the little drop of the shoulder. Goes direct to the front line. That is terrific skill. It's a good-looking cross. 
couple of changes then in quick succession. That's been drilled forward. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. He's picked him out. He's got the ball. He's got the space. A great ball. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Plays it out to the flank. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Now it's Polassi, played out to the right. A sombre longer. Oh, that's a fine challenge. of the previous miss. They're just lacking a cutting edge, Peter, and while that's fairly obvious, the rest of their attacking play is actually quite good. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Balassi. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Gets it back. Barnsley just have to run down the clock. And here's Polassi. Forward it goes. Well, it remains to be seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue this situation, and it needs to be any time now, really. Ball shows there will be three extra minutes. Deftly done. Nicely measured pass. Has a pop! And yes, it's there! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe. He was urged to shoot, and he duly delivered. I think the keeper has every reason to rip into that defence for allowing him to get into such a good position. Barnsley could not have picked a better time to snatch a two-goal lead. Is there still time for a response? Yeah, looks very much like the final nail in the coffin for me, I have to say. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. This could spell shapes to shoot! And with that, the final whistle. This win by a very competent performance. Without doubt, they were the better side, and the result reflects as much. Your reflections then, Jim. Look, we saw some textbook football from wide areas that continued to produce expansive attacking play that was ultimately too hard to handle. They were simply too good in, in the wide areas. And if that wasn't hard enough for the opposition, the link-up play was outstanding too.
And all that remains for me is to thank Jim Beglin. That's it from us tonight. A very good evening to one and all.